Good morning. It is vlog. Oh my God. Is it Christmas Eve? It's Vlogmas Day 24. I'm looking at the calendar now. Well, I've got news for you. just working in the dry shampoo uh we are going to meadow hall today um hopefully early it's 10 to 9 now hopefully we'll get there early enough for it not to be crazy i'd like to go a few different places but marks and spencer is one of them so we'll see that could be insane so this is one of the places we've come specifically to meadow hall to see i want to see the stationary stuff but look it's all capsule things it's all like collectible capsules which is totally milo's scene it is pretty cool if you like a a collector oh my god look at this cats and they come in boxes it's such a funky little thing and then you buy tokens and you can use tokens in here they've actually got animal crossing snow globes which is very tempting but i don't need them lee made the age-old mistake of saying to me oh are you going to h &M? i'm going in this shelf and i'm like right okay cool now it's limitless. I don't have, there's no particular time I have to leave this shop. They'll have to come and find me. I was looking to see if they had any uh, fun stuff in the sale for, ooh, ooh, I mean, maybe a red shirt. No, it's a dress um, for Christmas Day. But quickly realizing I don't want to buy something specifically for Christmas Day. I'm going to be hot. I'm going to be cooking. It's not, I just, it's a waste of money, isn't it? So then I was looking like, whoa, before you know it, it'll be summer. I don't need any of these things. Although these jumpers do look gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh, that's tempting. I'm always drawn to the boxiest things that are not flattering on me at all. Maybe this though, no, step away. Also the redness around my eyes, you can't see it in this light, but you definitely see it in that light. But it's only getting worse. Someone's told me it's, um, like a perimenopause ocular something. I can't remember what they said it was, but being a woman just gets better and better. Look what Milo's just got. The coolest Darth Vader that there ever was. And how did you get that money, Miles? Ella, because uh, she paid me it, but she doesn't like me. <laughs> she paid Milo to be with her and her friends for a limited time only last night. And with that money, he spent, he bought, the world's most fantastic. I bought a few more as well. Darth Vader and, and more things. I bought a new shirt from Urban Outfits. Thoughts? I love it. Anyway, um, I've just been squeezing lemons, as you do. I'd like someone to guess how many lemons are in this bottle, because every time I do this, it is upsetting. Um, you will never believe. Uh, anyway, that's for cocktails. I've made some simple syrup that is cooling. Uh, and now I'm gonna go and restock the bar because we've just been, this is getting some use. We've just been to the shop, done our Christmas food shop and uh, got all the stuff to restock the bar. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull my little trolley along, take it into the shed. And done. Ella had some friends around yesterday, so it seemed pointless restocking the bar before they came. <laughs> um, but now, we're ready to go. Also, the fridge is fully stocked with mixes and juice. Ella just said, I've got a skipping rope that's arrived from Amazon. Let me tell you, it's not skipping rope. It is um, resistance band. So this is what I want it for specifically. I've got some stuff that I want to do next year. And a lot of it focuses on getting more limber and relying less on painkillers. Um, and I didn't want to like, yeah, okay, I'll try and do weights, I'll try and do whatever. But I wanted to make something super simple to do absolutely every day as a stretch. Enter resistant bands. This, this specifically, I can't. My range of motion, that's like as much as I can move. Like when I move my arm back like this, it will not go further back than this. If you pushed it, it, it would go further back, but it would hurt. I can't make my arm go further back than that. I can't reach further back, that's ridiculous. Not even 38 yet. So 2024 is gonna be the year of not weight loss, not even fitness per se, 
but like let's just become strong enough to just live in the world without every single thing that I do hurting without every time I move my arm I go oh also look how glamorous I look doing my right do you know what of the things that I've committed to this December the animal crossing 24 days <laughs> challenge it's it's been the most time consuming of all the things that I thought I was going to do playing a video game to, well, I suppose it's not just playing a video game, it's doing something. But even if I was just playing a video game every single day and filming it, that is so much more time consuming because we're talking at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half of filming, then editing, then creating thumbnail every single day. That is so much more of a time commitment. Oh, I do this all the time. The thing keeps falling off my headphones, it's not great. Um, than vlogging, which, yeah, the edit is is long. But, I mean, not always. Not always, honestly. Can be pretty quick and i'm just talking to you throughout the day it's not the vlogging itself doesn't take up time it's the edit and even then like i said before i've just put this there's zero pressure on this i'm just vlogging here there and everywhere as i feel like it and i'm not doing anything fancy editing wise or putting anything of like it has to be this nothing so really the vlogging has been the easiest part i've been talking to emma and we were saying um we do, we might do vlog your own emma does 12 days i do like the full month but I think January off and then vlogging every day in February. I love it. I've missed this. And in this low pressure way that I'm doing it, I'm really, really enjoying it. So our friends came around and this is the devastation of the bar. While they were still there, I actually, it's like quite late on on Christmas Eve now and I've still not gone in there to clean up and people are coming around on Christmas Day. So that's going to be a late Christmas Eve job for me because we've got things to do. Uh, Manny was enjoying sleeping on the sofa while we were chatting late into the night and then I recorded what I thought was going to be a drunken outro but I've decided to continue this into Christmas Eve because it feels just like vlogmas should end on the 24th. I was going to do a cocktail recipe but I forgot and I ran out of time so I'm going to do it tomorrow because well, tomorrow maybe Christmas morning I don't know, and I might do it on Instagram. I was gonna do it and then I got waylaid with internet connectivity problems. At some point over the Christmas period, I will show you my very favorite cocktail. Um, can you tell I've had a few of my very favorite cocktail? I think I can. I think you can tell that I've had a few of my very favorite cocktail. And this morning I was hung over. Can you believe, can you believe? Um, I washed my hair and this is what happened to it. This is the natural texture of my hair. I want to leave it to dry with no external help. So this is going to have to be dealt with before tomorrow. Anyway, it's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve with my big fluffy hair. Uh, does it feel like Christmas Eve to you guys? I don't know if I feel like Christmas Eve, honestly. We're going to the cinema. We're going to see uh, Home Alone of You, which I'm quite looking forward to. But I also remembered that I still had some presents to open from Emma. I think we just got like, you know distracted with things so this feels like a good way to end the month uh now we're getting closer to the big one. Ooh, you got me addicted to these what's it gonna be ah oh could not have been more well timed i love them so much particularly this one but both are fantastic and i tell you what I told you in the beginning of Vlogmas, I can't drink anymore. And um, I put them immediately in the fridge. And my skin and my head and my stomach are just like, what are you doing to me? So when we get back later, I can already tell you I'm going to have a sleep in the cinema. And that's not usually my MO. But that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. We went to bed late and at seven o'clock this morning, I was awake like, let's go. So I should have had an afternoon nap, but I had editing and things to do. So instead, my afternoon. Absolutely. Um, oh, again, this one says, so you wake up looking youthful. Oh, things that I desperately need right now. It's square. What's this going to be? Oh, geez, is it like an overnight mask? Amazing. A niacinamide night mask. I hadn't even seen this. And I love the niacinamide range from Primark. Thank you, Emma. 
And then the final one she said was the big one. So I separated my gifts like over the 12 days of Christmas where she said she um, split it more to this and the little gifts. So I'm interested to see what this is going to be. Oh wait, this says, Merry Christmas, I hope you like it. I think you wanted one. What's it gonna be? I wanted one. She's assured me it's not an air fryer. What? Oh. Thermo electric cooler. Retro mini. Oh my God. Is this a little fridge? Is this a little it's a little fridge? Oh my god, you're so weird I'm talking about these yesterday. <laughs> oh you can die, you can die. Look at this. Look at this. It is a cool one. This is going immediately in my office. Ella is gonna be so jealous. And how funny that I just put those face masks in the fridge because now they can come out of this fridge and they can go in my skincare fridge because I can be bougie like that now. I can put my face masks in my little skincare fridge. Oh, look, look at the one Oh, God. This is the best. Also, at the back, it says you can have it warm. Why would you want a warm fridge? I really am gonna to have to Google why you would have this warm. But thank you so much, Emma. That is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna put it use, put it to use immediately. I've got to work out the wire system situation, but it's back there, it's plugged in. As soon as I get back from the cinema, I'm gonna whack on a face mask because oh, anyone else? I saw something earlier that said uh, 25th of December feels less like a holiday and more like a deadline. And I thought, in so many ways, in so many ways. So I'm gonna finish up i'm not like signing off till christmas or any, till january or anything like that i'll still be around i'll still potentially post a vlog or two um but that's going to be it for vlogmas we're done um i might even do a live tomorrow somewhere somewhere in the ether uh, but i hope you guys have a really really great day whatever it is that you're doing whether it's family stuff or not family stuff at all and that may be fantastic and even better um and if you're not having a fantastic day, it's literally one day. And then the next day it's Boxing Day and nobody cares anymore. Um, it's just one day. It's one day. It's not that big of a deal, but I hope you enjoy it slash get through it however you do. Um, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys when it's over. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hey, by the 